less. Is this yours? Nasty little brute. Hmm. <laughs> Via Franca, not much better. There's a party coming from Villa Franca, sir. It looks like Sir Henry Simerson. That's a nasty little brute, too. What? What did you say, Jack? Sir Henry Simerson. He's the political officer here. Didn't Munro tell you? Can't be. He lost the king's colours. He went home in disgrace. How can he be here? He's back home. Sharp saw Simerson lose the colours, so naturally Simerson hates him. May I be excused, sir? No, you may not, Sharp. Best behaviour, gentlemen. Try to pretend that the pretentious little puke didn't lose the king's colours. Good to see you, Sir Henry. What ho, Buckley? Munro said you were on your way. Took your damn time. Gentlemen. I wish I could say I was glad to see you sharp. But I ain't, sir. So Sir Henry, may I introduce Captain the Lord Spears, one of Munro's men. You're delighted to meet you, my lord. Ain't you the Simerson that lost the king's colours? There was a full inquiry, my lord. I was completely exonerated. Allow me to shake you by the hand, my lord. Ah, so you didn't lose them. You mislaid them, as you seem to have the most unfortunate habit of losing things. I think I'll hold on to me one good hand. A joke, Sir Henry. Just a joke, my silly old sense of humour. I trust I have a sense of humour, my lord. A man who loses the king's colours is in need of a sense of humour, Sir Henry. Now, what do you know about this frog fort? Speaking as the political commissioner, my lord, I must stress that it is of the utmost importance to the Anglo-Spanish authorities that normal trade and commerce be not interrupted. We have established a modus vivendi with the fort. If they don't trouble us, we don't trouble them. And I trust you gentlemen will do nothing to disturb this most sensitive situation. Oh, not to worry, Sir Henry. We just plan to blow that fort to bits, that's all. What have they got, Sir Henry? Have they got cannon? I've been in that fort many times under a flag of truce, and I can categorically state that they have got no cannon. Cannon. It'll be no fun getting into that fort, Sharp. A night attack, sir. Good idea. Let's be getting back to our billets. Where's young Robert with my horse? A pet boy! Oh, beside MacDonald. Oh, beside son. Oh, my fault. By God, he'll pay 
for this. I should have listened to you, Richard. It must be LaRue. Breaks his parole and kills an 18-year-old boy. Don't worry, sir. We'll go in and get him tomorrow. Tomorrow? I'm going in tonight, Sharp. I don't want that bastard dead by dawn. Survivors, those that have been captured, tortured, somehow survived, if only in body. This is Don Felipe, the owner of the house. The French raped and murdered his wife and forced him to watch. His house is her memorial. I am Don Felipe. My house is yours. Is this the girl in need of care? to be here somewhere, Alice. Somewhere, sir. I shall have to search every book. Uh, naturally, I shall be excused parades. Set yourself up with a skivvish, huh? Don't be selfish. Share and share alike. Hmm? This is the Mirador. Mirador means watching place. Usually I paint here, but from now on, my child, you may look on it as your own private garden. Looks like you'll be well looked after, lass. We'll leave you now and move to our billets. If you're lonely, let me know, my dear. We'll leave you now, lass. All right, you can come with us, but you must promise to come back here. Sir Henry, show us to our billets. With pleasure. I've put you in the Irish mission with Father Curtis. <laughs> 